In this video, we'll discover about Finish Strong. We will end this video course on a very high note by talking about how you can finish strong. You might have picked up this video course because you felt your life was crashing. Nonetheless, you can still build something glorious out of the ruins. The tips below can help you recover from setbacks and forge ahead to make something beautiful out of the remaining part of your life. Be grateful. I have no idea what you have been through. However, the truth is that it could have been worse. Yes, it left you heartbroken. You are mending your boat and still healing from the wounds, but it could have been worse than this. You need to start by seeing things from this perspective. Be grateful that you are still alive and still have a chance to do something with your life again. You might have lost a huge amount of money, but you still have your beautiful kids, lovely spouse, and a family who cares about you. Would you rather lose your loved ones rather than lose money? Of course, no amount of money can replace the life and company of your friends and family. So be deliberately grateful. Pick a jotter or journal and list out things in your life worth celebrating. Leave your home and go to places where you will find tranquility and just enjoy the ambiance. Go to the beach, mountain, or wherever you can connect with nature. Use those moments to value the basic things in life again. Life, family, health. Breathe and stay in the moment as you prepare to mentally start all over again. Surrender is a choice. Never take it. If you fall behind, run faster. Never give up. Never surrender. And rise up against the odds. Jesse Jackson One of the statements you should never make in life is that you don't have a choice. It's not true because you always do. You can never be mentally strong when you leave yourself at the mercy of the circumstances surrounding you. As earlier mentioned, there are people in history or in the world today who have faced situations more limiting than yours and still succeeded in their endeavors. Therefore, surrendering is a choice people take, and you should never see it as an option. Those periods of your life when it seems your back is against the wall are the best opportunities to turn a corner by refusing to give up. Those times are the best periods to pick up biographies of people who have faced similar situations and learn from the way they were able to recover. You have nothing to lose again. No one likes to fail, but failure is beautiful in some ways. In fact, it's good for your mental health sometimes. How? When you have never failed before, you are under considerable pressure to sustain your perfect record. You have many people thinking that you're some kind of superhuman, and that puts pressure on you. You want to maintain your status of invisibility, and that by itself can lead to anxiety. However, when something goes wrong, you and the people around you realize that you are not impeccable, and that will reduce the level of pressure and expectations they have of you. At that point, you have nothing to lose again. Therefore, it is a perfect opportunity to do the things without putting yourself under unnecessary pressure. You'll go about your business with a calm mind because you have nothing to prove to anyone. You are simply doing what you need to do, to be the best version of yourself. So when you fail, don't be too concerned about what people have to say about you. Whoever has not failed before should write you off. Obviously, there's no one like that. Make new friends. Friends are there for you on the days you are being celebrated. You share good times with them and enjoy the pleasant occasions. However, those are not the days you really need them. The days of adversity are the periods you need that arm around the neck and a bear hug the most. If your friends are not there for you as a succor during your dark days, they don't deserve to be around you. You need to make new friends. Be around people who give you the drive and positive energy you need to climb up the ladder again. Instead of sulking and wailing, talk to someone you know can encourage you. It helps a lot if the person has gone through that situation or something similar before. Remember to keep such people with you when the rainy days are over. It's unfortunate that some people have a culture of forgetting the people who were there for them during their moments of trial and tribulation. Don't be one of such ungrateful individuals. Share your pleasant moments with the friends who were there for you during your dark days. Take a step back to run forward. There is no doubt that we all love it when people say nice things about us. This desire is the reason people post pictures of themselves on social media. We all want people to tell us how beautiful, elegant, and brilliant we are. However, it's a serious problem when those comments mean the world to you. It's one of the reasons some people struggle to recover after a setback. They cannot imagine not being in the spotlight again. You should learn to take a break sometimes to come up with a new strategy. This approach is particularly important after a major setback. Don't be under immense pressure to start doing something again. Take time and analyze the situation. Identify the areas where you have made mistakes and think about how you could have done things differently. If you start again without learning your lessons, you'll make the same mistakes again. Believe in yourself again. Your journey back to the top begins with forgiving yourself for making mistakes. You cannot undo what you have done. 
So the best move is to let it go and try to make the best out of your life. Forgiving yourself will make you believe in yourself again. Note that you cannot succeed in any endeavor in life if you don't have self-confidence. It's natural that the thoughts of your past failures will run through your mind once in a while. Nonetheless, you should never let them limit you. To make things easier, ensure that you start by doing things you are confident you have mastery over. Leverage your strengths as you slowly build your self-esteem. It's not good for you to take another hit after a major crisis, so it is safer to do things you are sure of before taking risks. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.